Schmidt, we're going to come back in just a moment. We're going to talk more about your work, God is Not Dead. Plus, we'll take some phone calls with you. Here's our last emerging artist, Dilated, the song, Something Different Every Time, from Loveland, Ohio. Get daily show updates right to your inbox for free with the Coast Zone newsletter. Sign up today at coasttocoastam.com. me were the results in such a short time frame. I was thinning on the top and now have noticeably thicker hair. <laughs> I'm hooked. Thanks, Ovation. Ovation is the best product I've ever used, and I'll continue to encourage anyone with troubled hair to give Ovation a try. For a limited time, you can get the complete Ovation Cell Therapy System at the L.A. County Fair and receive a special Ovation Fair discount while you're there. Ovation can help stop dry, brittle, damaged hair and help your hair grow thicker, stronger, longer, and faster. Guaranteed. Look for the Ovation team of hair care consultants at the Ovation booth in Building 4 at the L.A. County Fair. And don't forget your special Ovation Fair discount. What are you waiting for? Join the Ovation Nation. Hundreds of thousands of Ovation users can't be wrong. Ovation really works. Monday, September 3rd. Newsy. KFI. Los Angeles. Orange County. News on the hour, on the half, and when it breaks. A fire is spoiling Labor Day for some campers. I'm Donald Morrison. A fire burning in the San Gabriel Mountains above Glendora has scorched 3,600 acres and led to the evacuation of more than 12,000 people. Angeles National Forest spokeswoman Latonja Watson says the fire started yesterday afternoon on East Fork Road. The first thing was to get the recreational list out in the public, make sure we had, you know, public safety. That uh, was a major concern. Camp Williams and the surrounding area was evacuated. No buildings are in immediate danger right now. The fire is only 5% contained. The cause is being investigated. San Gabriel Canyon is closed today. A 3.3 earthquake has just hit in, the, in Beverly Hills. It rattled a little before 3.30 this morning. Shaking was felt in West L.A., Culver City, and parts of the San Fernando Valley. KFI is the talk station with the most frequent traffic reports as a crash in Pasadena. This crash is on the 134 freeway at Orange Grove. It's unclear if this is westbound or eastbound. Conflicting reports saying it could be on either side. But it is blocking the carpool lane, so proceed with caution if you're heading through the area. And if you happen to see what's going on, give us a call on the KFI traffic tip line, 888-500-5003. Another crash in Montecito Heights, 110 north at Avenue 52, blocking the right lane. Watch for minor delays as you approach the scene there. And in Bloomington, 10 east at Cedar Avenue, crash blocking the right lane. The drive is slow from Sierra Avenue. Robert Dubucky, KFI traffic. A police officer in Azusa has shot and killed a man suspected of robbing an adult video store. The man was shot outside the store early this morning at Citrus Avenue and Gladstone Street. It's not clear if the man shot at the officer. A husband and wife are wanted for allegedly shooting an L.A. County Sheriff deputy and committing a series of carjackings in South El Monte. Investigators say 24-year-old Darnell Washington escaped from jail in Devore August 28th with the help from his wife, 25-year-old Tanya Washington. They say Darnell shot the deputy yesterday morning during a traffic stop in the area of Durfee Avenue and Peck Road. The deputy was hurt and has since been released from the hospital. The freelance photographer charged under the state's new anti-paparazzi law for allegedly chasing Justin Bieber on the 101 freeway through Hollywood is now challenging the law. The lawyers for Paul Rafe says it violates the First Amendment. They say paparazzi photographers have the same constitutional protection as any other member of the press. Rafe is accused of chasing Bieber July 6th. The Democratic National Convention starts today in Charlotte, North Carolina with some caucus and council meetings. It'll end Thursday with the big speech from President Obama. The president campaigned yesterday at the University of Colorado in Boulder. The president says Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan haven't offered any new ideas to help move the country forward. An agenda that was better suited for the last century. It was a rerun. It could have been on Nick at Night. We've seen it before. 
You might as well have watched on a black and white TV with some rabbit ears. Bill Clinton will speak at the convention on Wednesday. After 16 years of talking and planning, a museum of classic Las Vegas signs finally has an opening date. Known for years as the Neon Boneyard, the graveyard collection of old Las Vegas neon signs is expected to open as the Neon Museum October 27th. A collection of iconic Las Vegas casino, motel, and store signs will be displayed inside the lobby of the old La Concha Motel, which is being converted into the Neon Museum, a shop, and visitor center. The two-acre yard had already been making money for a couple of years by doing a about 100 tours daily at $15 a head. The limited capacity of the popularity forced the museum to turn away about 20 people a day. Ronnie Loiza, KFI News. Joey Chestnut does it again. I'll explain what he did along with your Labor Day forecast and a lot more Coast to Coast AM coming up. Uh, the gold, guys, is terrific. If you have gold, you can turn it into cash by going to any of the gold guys' locations, and they guarantee it top dollar. Jewelry, silver, or coins, they make it simple. Walk in any gold guys' location in Southern California, they'll turn that into cash. Brea Mall, Westside Pavilion, or how about the one uh, at the Gallery of Tyler in Riverside? The goldguys.com cash for your gold only at the gold guys. When choosing a treatment for cancer, experience counts. As the nation's first proton treatment center, Loma Linda University Medical Center pioneered the use of proton radiation for the treatment of prostate, lung, and brain cancer. We treat more patients than any other center of its kind in the world. To learn more and receive your free informational DVD, visit protons.com or call 1-800-PROTON. Loma Linda University Medical Center. Many strength, one mission. It's a horse racing experience like any other. And I go. Horse racing at Fairplace Park at this year's LA County Fair. 13 days of live thoroughbred racing, fast paced excitement, and of course, the one and only case at the LA County Fair. Your fill of fine food and action at Paris at Fairplex Park. Invite your friends for an extraordinary group experience. Or treat your one and only to a heart pounding trip to the races. It all happens September 7th through the 23rd. For more information, visit LACountyFair.com. Friday, September 7th is opening day at Fairflux Park. Opening weekend features exciting stakes races, wiener dog races, the Bud Light Carne Asada experience on Sunday, September 9th, and Friday Fair admission is free until 6 p.m. when you bring in five cans of food. For more great promotions, visit LACountyFair.com. If you drive the five, you already know the traffic can be truly awful. And with the additional construction improvements that will be going on for the next five years, we'd like to suggest some tips on how to save time and make your commute bearable. Tip number one, instead of showering and dressing every morning, just drive to work dirty and in your pajamas. That's one way to get the receptionist to finally notice you. Tip two, instead of eating at home, a glove compartment microwave oven will make getting stuck in traffic a dining adventure. Tip three, why not hire a personal assistant to drive with you? You can take the changes to your resume, which you'll need because if you show up late for work enough times, well... <laughs>